We are uh, good to go for today. We're going to be continuing our transition to flight today. So after our, our gab fest here in the morning, you guys have some time to start playing with um, some of our first little units. And you'll, you'll probably crash those and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we'll continue that next week. And then after next week, we'll probably have enough to start going into some of our larger units. Uh, so, um, yeah, so we're going to start with today to give a quick overview. I'm going to talk a little bit about some more backgroundy stuff. Uh, and then uh, Andy from Air Environments is going to get up and, and uh, tell us about what, what those guys are doing, some cool stuff. Um, hopefully everybody watched our video of the Puma flight uh, out at uh, Channel Islands in the fall. Um, Air Environment, that's, that's one of their many products. And we're gonna hear from him, have a, have a question and a session, hear some stuff. We also have some, a bunch of great guests. You guys will get to meet everybody. Some people you saw last week, but additional folks have them introduced. And if they wanna chime in at any point, that'd be great too. Uh, we'll finish at noon. Uh, the, the surveys will be, the physical copies of the surveys I'll talk about in a second should be here by noon. I just got an email that two minutes ago they finished printing. So I don't have them to hand you, but before we break, you'll have those. We'll go over that. and. Uh, and that's the plan for today. So before we get too far, um, rather than introduce all our students like we've done in the past, that sort of ends up taking 15 minutes. Um, so people you don't hear speak right now <laughs> are our students. And maybe our, our, our new guests can introduce uh, themselves so we all say, can say hi. Oh, hi, I'm Andy Thurling. I'm from Air Environment. I'm their uh, Director of Mission Assurance. Uh, also a former Air Force test pilot. Cool. We know you guys. Who else? Oh, you, you guys. You guys got it. Um, Stan Slate, my wife, Louise. Um, we're UAV enthusiasts and uh, would like to somehow get involved. In, so just auditing the class for now. Pilots and used Pilot, to have a business at Camarillo? Both helicopter and, uh, and fixed wing pilot. Um, used to own Channel Islands Aviation at one time. Well, I have a Good interest in aviation as well as uh, UAVs. We actually have one of these that you're looking at. Fun. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I'm just an attendee and interested person. He's a navigator sometimes. <laughs> to drive the car. <laughs> cool. And then Max. So Max is auditing our class, trying to figure out if he's going to come to Channel Island. So you, guys, you can talk to all these guys about what they think about me when I'm not around. They'll, they'll be honest, hopefully. They'll be honest. Um, okay, great. Uh, so the other thing to say just by way of introduction is Todd is not uh, here today. He got called out to do an investigation last minute, so, he's, um, so he apologizes. Um, so again, we're not doing this today, not next week, but in a couple weeks we'll start transitioning into these larger units um, uh, as this picture shows. The great news is that our, our survey is finally done after all those weeks of tweaking with it and toying with it. It was approved by the um, Institutional Review Board by campus, so we're good to go, awesome. Um, and I just, uh, I'll, again, I'll have copies of those for you guys, but um, I was just unfortunately too busy with stuff to, to formally launch the electronic version. That's where we're gonna get most of the participants from around the country and all that kind of stuff. Um, probably launch that this weekend. I'll send you guys a link to it all um, when I get it up and running, and you can you can you know shove it off to all your networks of folks and all that kind of good stuff. Recall, we're also going to do a, a subset of polls here, L.A. County, Ventura County, Santa Barbara County, um, so that we can calibrate. Because again, when we, we put these uh, links out, we're not paying for this poll, right? We're not doing the traditional approach that the way the current standard for how you do these online polls where you contract with a firm. Those firms uh, do all the self-selecting and all this. And that. I have a lot of problems with the firms. We can talk about that if you want later. The methodology is very opaque these days and academics now use these services and they're very opaque with how they work. Um, so it's, it's a problem for me as a person that wants to see the data and how they're picking the populations. But if we can get over you know, 700, 800, 1,000 people, um, even with the caveats and the problems and the this and that, 
it's probably a, a probably a fairly decent pulse of where we are right now. Um, as as will probably happen with what happened last year, we just put these out in the wild, this link out in the wild, and it's going to go. So most of the respondents will be from the U.S. because this will be in English, but we will get folks responding from different countries and such. So um, uh, I think you guys know this, but just to reiterate, the online poll uh, has a lot of questions that not everybody necessarily sees. So for example, the, the question about the FAA, if someone ch checked off that they were in Bangladesh or something, they wouldn't get the question about the FAA because that doesn't necessarily make sense to those folks and, and things of that nature. Um, and so, so when you do, when I do send that email out in a couple days, please do, you know, networks, whatever, push those, push those guys out. Um, uh, again, to compare that though, we're going to do a subsampling here in person. So these are the printed versions that are coming for you guys. I'd like everybody to do five between now and next Friday. That's on campus? No, not allowed to do them on campus. We'll talk about where. Okay. But to do five, um, and then we're going to come in next week and we're going to talk about stuff because. Because this is a, another skill set you guys are getting, separate from the UAVs, right? This is how do we do opinion polling, and that's what I'm going to talk a, a bit about today to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, I sent a link to you guys about the, um, we didn't, it used to be that I had to do the testing and the certification. This year now there's actually saying all you students have to do it. So. So I sent that link saying, if you guys could please, it's a free thing, but do the online training with working with human subjects, basically. And then at the end, you get a little PDF. A couple people have already done it. Get the PDF and just put that in that Google Drive I sent you, and, and uh, we're good to go. Um, but just to reiterate, this is considered, even though we're asking people questions, we're not paying them, we're not, we're not trying to deceive them, we're not, you know, nothing like that. This is still considered a human subjects activity. That's why it had to be approved by what's what's called the Institutional Review Board on campus. And this is, you know, quite honestly a joke. This is there's no real worry about this. But we have to go through these procedures because of some of the the poor practices of some of our forebears and medical experiments, psychological experiments, etc. Um, that uh, were maybe not the best things to do. So essentially the rule is anytime we do something that involves people, and even though just a simple poll that's considered an interacting with people, uh, you need to do this training. And so realize that that training that you guys are doing is for anybody, where, you know, psychology students doing weird things with pain and all kinds of stuff. So a lot of the questions might not seem like they're applicable, but we have to go through the training uh, anyway. So, um, so that's that. <clears throat> now, our, our main instrument, again, is our online survey instrument. And that's awesome. And that's great. And again, that can be re that's responsive. So if people say, uh, uh, I've flown, you know, or I have purchased a drone in the last, you know, year or whatever, then that'll take them to a couple different questions, ask them what kind they purchased and this and that. But if they didn't, if they didn't, uh, have not purchased or ever flown a drone, they just skip over those questions, right? And that's great. We can't do that yet. Again, we have this iPad app that's supposed to work for the survey software we use, Qualtrics. It doesn't quite work right, so we're not using it. So we're still stuck, unfortunately, for this year with the, with the physical copies. So that we could print a little bit less uh, paper and so that people don't have to sort of skip through a bunch of questions we actually have two flavors of the, um, of the printed version. Um, the questions that are asked are identical, but one of them has a bit of the extra one. So what you'll notice is one sir, and so if you look on the far upper right in the file that I emailed you guys, it says this, the far upper right, one says Y and one says N. Um, basically one is, you say, hey, would you mind taking, um, uh, I'm doing this class at Cal State Channel Islands. Do you mind taking a few minutes and answering some questions for us? Here, this is an anonymous survey. Um, the first thing you can say is, hey, have you, ever, have you ever purchased or flown a drone? A UAV? And if they say no, you give them the no one. And that, that cuts out you know, like eight questions or whatever. I can't remember the exact number, but right? It's just shorter. Because so I can do that. If they have, or if they don't know if they have or haven't. Give them the why one. Give them the uh, give them the, the fuller version of it. 
Um, so just to be clear, all the question numbering in, on these printed instruments match up with our, our, our online instruments. So when we're all done, we can, mat, we can merge the two data sets and they'll make sense. Realize that, and so when you're looking through here, if, if you're bored one day and flipping through, you might notice that the numbers aren't necessarily in, in sequential order because of the fact that, for example, the end question cuts out a bunch of questions. But then also there's just a couple questions that aren't asked at all. So one of the questions that we ask in the online instrument is, uh, you know, what do you think about the management of, Cal I forget what it was, management of California fisheries or whatever it was. It's one of our, one of our questions from our typical fall polls. And we ask that to get a bit of a, cal a couple of those questions about climate change and whatever seem like they're not related to drones. It's really more about us getting a sense of the population. Since we know what the, what the community here in the Tri-County area thinks about those from our long-term polling, this is a way to calibrate that, just to make sure that we're at least vaguely getting the right, the, the same type of people. If we got widely divergent answers from our population, we would know that there's something going on. So it's a check. Um, but one of those questions on the online poll says, have you, uh, do you reside in or have you ever been to California, right? And if they say no, that those California questions don't, don't matter, so we, we drop that out. In the case of these, every, by definition, everybody's at least been to California because we're doing it in California, even if they're a visitor, right? So, that, so that's why, just so you know, that's why the numbers are a little bit, seem, might seem a little strange, but in the end, they all match up. And so they'll all play nicely with each other. So that's the, that's the deal. I'll have copies of those to give out to you um, when, again, before we break. Um, what we might do is this first round, I'm printing these for you. You guys have to print print uh, others for yourself later. Um, what we might do is our, our second page question. Right now, just the first the, the first page we do front and back. The fr first page is color. The rest are just black and white stuff. Um, it might be cheaper, though. I'm thinking in the long run. This is what the feedback I'd like to have from you guys is to just print out some of these color pages, and you guys can have that on your clipboard or whatever. And then just print everything else out in black and white. So they would have this, but it would be black and white. That might, that might just be a little cheaper in terms of our <coughs> printing. So this is, this is the first poll we've done where we actually have color pictures. Normally we just ask yes, no questions and stuff like that. So, so interested to get your guys' feedback. Okay, that's our poll. Um, how are we going to do this? Here are the rules. The rules are you cannot do CSUCI. You cannot do your roommates. You cannot do your immediate friends, right? The idea is... We want to sample the population as a whole. Okay, now granted, with our online polls, we're gonna send them to drone, drone sites and stuff, and so there, there are problems, but we're, we're gonna um, not intentionally grab people from CSUCI, okay? So that means you're not allowed to do the surveys on campus. Uh, how we do this, the standard that we use, is we use public spaces. So you guys can go wherever you want. Uh, parks, um, um, post offices. Uh, students generally find that the, the two most, uh, the two uh, uh, places that seem to work the best are places like Starbucks, because people are chilling, right? And car washes tend to work really well, because people are stuck there for 15 minutes or whatever while their car is getting washed. So you, you do not have to go to those places but just realize some places are better than others. This is a total chill thing. This is all up above boards. If for some reason though, you were doing something, you were getting out some of these surveys and someone came up to you and said, you know, hey, you're not supposed to be here. Uh, no harm, no foul, just, just move on, right? So, so we wanna go to public places because that's, that's where we're encountering folks, but we're not, we're not you know, trying to offend anyone, we're not trying to make anybody feel uncomfortable, uh, anything like that. We're probably okay. My fall class, every four years, it becomes a bit of a problem because all the pollster, all the political pollsters start coming out in the fall and people get really tired of responding to the polls. But for now, we're, we're, we're probably, probably okay. So the rules are, uh, you are uh, not allowed to do more than 20, and, and so, so all told, you guys have to do 35 all told. So we're doing five this first week, and then over the next uh, four weeks, basically, you have to do 30 more. You can do them all this first week, that would be great, which is what I would recommend, get them done and get it over with. But um, regardless, 
you're, you're allowed to do more than, no more than 20 from any one individual place. Right? So I don't want you to go, go into one spot and then just do it, right? Because we're trying to get a representative sample of, of our community, right? So if we all went to just you know, four or five places, that's not gonna work, okay? Um, and so again, uh, I'll, I'll get to start you guys off, I'm gonna give you guys a, hand, uh, a handful of each of the Y's and the N's. And I just would like you guys to do five for next week. So it, it doesn't matter if the five are all people that have used drones or have never used drones. Probably the vast majority of people have not have used drones, but, but still, uh, it, again, it's, it's uh, just any of the five for this first time. <clears throat> My suggestion, again, from doing this for several years, what tends to work well is if you guys wear a CSUCI shirt, T-shirt or, or, uh, or sweatshirt or something like that, you don't have to but it just kind of tends to make it a little bit more official. And again, uh, my contact info is on the start of that poll. Uh, if, if, people want, if people are curious and they want to hear what the, re the answers are, by all means, you know, tell them about the blog. They can go check out the blog and then, you know, whatever, April sometime when we're done with this, we have to collate the data and make sure that it's all, you know, that there isn't some error and somebody screwed up something and make sure that they're, they're all valid responses. Um, but uh, but it, well, it's a publicly available thing. We'll share it when we're, when we're ready. Um, but uh, if they really definitely want to make sure they know when it, when it happens, by all means, give them my email and just tell them to send me a little quick email and say, hey, could you please put me on the distribution list whenever it's done? Not going not gonna to keep their email other than just to save it to send them and then I'll delete it from our thing. So, so that's available to you guys. Any questions people have? You can probably answer a lot of them, and if you can't, again, uh, I'm more than happy to, to answer questions for someone. Um, but uh, it tends to work really well for you guys to say, hey, I'm in a class, my university class at Cal State Channel Islands, we're doing this little poll. Would you mind taking uh, a couple minutes and, and responding to this poll, this anonymous poll? So make sure you emphasize it's anonymous. Make sure you, you emphasize that you're in a class. Sometimes people, when they see people doing surveys, they're like, oh, I'm going this way. I'm going, I'm going the other side. But when people hear that you guys are doing this as part of an academic exercise, they tend to be a lot more chill and a lot more inviting and, and, uh, and, and will be much more likely to uh, note that. Um, another couple things that you guys should just do is when you're done with this poll, my suggestion is at the end, uh, you know, flip it to the back page, whatever, and just, or the front page, and just write the date and the time and, um, and the location where you did this. Because it's very easy to forget that stuff and, and if you don't do that. So, so I, I wouldn't do it right in front of them because then they kind of think, well, you but you know, but, but before you leave for that day or before you finish those, just sort of note. And the approximate time is fine, you know, 11.30 or something. We don't need to go down to the minute or something. Um, and, and then, and the location, and, and, and and as specific as you're going to need to know. So I don't want to know Starbucks. Right? I want to know Starbucks and Thousand Oaks or, or some, something of that nature. Um, so that when we do the vetting process after to double check and make sure we're not oversampling some places, we know that you guys, somebody who's at the Starbucks in Ventura and somebody who's in the Starbucks in Thousand Oaks or, or whatever the case may be. Cool. Questions about that? Next year, this will probably be in a couple different versions of the poll. But last year and this year, we're sort of trying to figure out the w our way through it. And so, uh, yeah. So, so this is a, it's a broad ranging poll. I'll, I'll send you guys, guess, I hope you guys all take it. I'll, I'll send it to you guys too. But this is um, trying to get a sense of people's understanding of, of the current use of these devices and how people behave with them, how people what people's sentiment is about them. So it's covering a bunch of stuff. Oh, probably too, too much for traditional polls. Who's calling me? Um, okay, other questions? Can I get some at uh, my campus? Uh, sure, yeah. No friends, right? No friends, no friends. Uh, I mean, if there is acquaintances, that's cool. But you know, again, we want it, we want to sample more broadly. So generally speaking, your buds probably see the world similar to you, and so uh, it's best to get other folks, not your parents, not your roommate, that kind of stuff. 
Uh, a neighbor, I guess, would be okay. One, but again, same thing, right? So people that people that where you guys live are probably gonna not. It, it, what we're trying to do with this, with the with the printed version, is get a random grab of Joe Blow public, right? And and to be sure, this won't be perfect by any means, but but it's it's better to go to some park and ask one of your neighbors in the park as opposed as opposed to just your neighbor right next to this one. Sure, 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 right in. sure, 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 sure. So again, this first time, this is the first couple times, it can be a little bit awkward. Um, just doing five this first time, right? Ultimately, once you guys get in the groove, it tends to work a lot better to have a couple clipboards, we found over the years. So that, because um, what will tend to happen is like nobody will do it or nobody will be there, for, then there will be a big group. And you're like, hey, and, and if you just have one clipboard with one pencil or something, it you're like, oh my God, those people are walking away. <laughs> um, so one of the thing, one of the thing to just take note of, again, as I said, as you're walking away for that day, or you finished your 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 dollop, um, and you're just going to note the location and, and date and and uh, time. Also, you should note for that location how many people did you ask that said, Mleh. right? How many rejections did you have? Um, not people that saw you, you know, on the other side of the parking lot, walk the other way, but people you actually tried to engage and said, "Hey, can you can you do this?" And they're like, "Oh no, thank you, I'm busy or whatever." You don't need to tell. You don't need to say why. We're not trying to get up in people's grill, but just we want to know: um, Did 50% of the people you asked take it? Did 10%? Did 90? That kind of stuff. And they get a piece of paper they can take whatever. Oh, at the end of this? No, no, no. Right when they when they go out. So number of people that said no, they will try to remember instead of having some check. We could. I, we could do that. Typically, we just have them write it on the back of the poll, but we could. I, I, I could make that up I'm if you guys. Yeah. Military <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Other thoughts? Other, other questions? So where are some places you guys are thinking about going? Walmart. <laughs> Walmart? OK, cool. Shop there often? Yeah. Where else? Where else? Where? Beach? Okay, beach is good. Cool. Beach. Okay, cool. Yeah, so so the mall would be fine. Um, I, I, I don't know. We haven't had, we don't, t we've had people definitely do uh, occasional polls in the mall. Not a lot. I think that's one that we would, uh, the mall is technically private property. So we would need to ask permission. And not that we couldn't, but it, that's sort of another step. And so, if you're just at the mall and you ask somebody to do it, it's probably not a big deal. But I wouldn't spend. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's definitely true. Um, a lot of stores um, would don't like that, so they want to approve if it's Girl Scouts doing cookies. Right. So again, if it's those kind of situations, just n yeah, n no harm, no foul. Thanks anyway. Sorry, I didn't know, and just go on. But yeah. But especially just doing a couple, just to get the first trial, I think it's good to go to a couple different places. I mean, you can do more than five. You guys can just start getting all of them if you want. But, you know what I mean, like really try a couple different places and we'll talk about next week what you guys found worked, what was an effective way to, to do it. Cool. Other questions? Okay, great.